Beauty should be good for you. That may not sound like a revolutionary idea, but it is. The beauty industry is woefully unregulated. It makes claims that aren't true, products that aren't safe, and uses ingredients that have simply never been tested for their effect on your health. Beauty Counter was founded to counter all of that. We wanted safer products for ourselves and for everyone we love, for everyone, period. You should never have to choose between a product that really works and a product you can really trust. Using body wash shouldn't be risky. Putting on lipstick should not be a gamble. You shouldn't have to squint at ingredient lists, do your own research, or wonder or worry. There are over 1,500 ingredients on the Never list. That's 1,500 ingredients we never use in our formulas because they're just too questionable. We source carefully and test constantly. Our products are safer and they perform. Beauty Counter isn't a huge company, but we do have a huge goal. We want to lead a change, not just in our industry, but in our culture. Because when you think about it, isn't it obvious? Beauty should be good for you. So that's where we are today. We're talking about clean beauty. The reality oh. is that most people don't know oh. what's in the products they're putting on their skin. Although that's a really good one too. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. My name is Avery Clyde and where you have found yourself is the fundraiser for the Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center, UCLA. Um, and Miss Chrissy Lomax has invited us all and gathered us together for this fundraiser. Uh, joining me today, we have Candice Wave. Candice, hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Avery Clyde, a director at Beauty Hanner and uh, actor extraordinaire. <laughs> and then Chrissy Lomax uh, for my cancer free life and big time uh, cancer free advocate. Uh, and it just so happens, this is just luck of the draw that Beauty Hanner is having a 15% off site wide sale. Uh, until next Tuesday. So just know that in the back of your mind. Uh, Chrissy, though, is going to just give us a little bit of how do we all come together here today, Chrissy? Well, I think I have to go back to 1995. Trust me, this is only going to take a couple minutes. Um, and that was when I was, I was always a fundraiser for cancer research. I lost my mom. She was a very young mom and colon cancer took her. So I fundraised for cancer research. And during a lecture, at UCLA, Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center, UCLA. I listened to Dr. Dennis Slayman describe how he discovered the first gene-targeted therapy for a most aggressive breast cancer, but he needed more money for FDA approval. I left there, fired up, went home, thought about it, thought food. So I published a fundraising cookbook and raised money to help him move this drug forward and get that FDA approval. Every little penny counted sold a lot of cookbooks out of the trunk of my car. And um, in 1998, that drug was FDA approved for metastatic breast cancer patients with this very aggressive form of breast cancer called HER2 new positive breast cancer. And this drug that he called Herceptin um, was then approved in 2010, FDA approved for all women diagnosed with this very f aggressive form of breast cancer. And it was in 2017, I was diagnosed with that exact form of breast cancer. And the drug I fundraised for all those years ago came full circle mm -hmm. to help me be here today. And I don't know how I ended up with cancer. I'm a fitness professional. I don't know how that happened. Um, all I know is I don't want to get it back. And I'm doing everything within my power, what I put in my body and what I put on my body to not trigger that cancer coming back. And um, the beauty counter seems to fit my lifestyle now of Chrissy's cancer-free life. And I really appreciate this. Avery was a guest on a radio show. That's when I met you. And that's how we ended up here. I want everybody to know the dangers of toxins in makeup. Because you're also celebrating something, right? Yes. Right now, June is Cancer Survivor Month. And also on July 7th, um, I'm coming up on two years um, for finishing my treatment for this cancer. I was in treatment for a year. I'm coming up on my anniversary of two years since finishing treatment. 
And on July 7th marks three years when, since I was diagnosed. And that means I'll be a three year survivor. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for bringing us all together here today so that we can share yes. this. With so so many this really helps me to know that we can still do something to make a difference. And I'm living proof that fundraising works. And the Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center and UCLA saved my life. Yes. <laughs> well, we're going to try to save some more by sharing some really, really valuable information that everybody should know. Um, yes. Yes. And please know, too, it's whether you buy Beauty Counter or otherwise, we're the beginning of a movement. This is the clean beauty movement. So we want you to have this information no matter what. Okay. So seven years ago, we're going to get into a bill that we just passed actually last Friday. Um, but seven yeah. years ago, we began the clean beauty movement. Don't you just love Chrissy Lomax to death? <laughs> Can't we just her? Yeah, Freaking right. amazing. Um, <clears throat> so seven years ago, Greg Renfro started the clean beauty mu movement when she started Beauty Counter. And if there is a movement, which there is globally, Beauty Counter would be at the tip of the sword right? The whole globe is kind of looking to say, what is Beauty Counter doing? Most people, most consumers think that the FDA regulates this industry, this consumer products industry. We're talking about the largest organ on your body. I'm not just talking makeup. I'm talking deodorant, um, hairspray, sunscreen, baby wash, beard oil. I mean, it's all that fingernail polish, hair color. I mean, like everything, you know, from the smallest to the, <laughs> the largest, old to young. Um, but they don't. FDA does not cover that at all. So uh, a good way to shop too is to look at B Corps. Beauty Counter is a certified B Corp, which means we have to put people and planet before profit or we don't get to have that certification anymore. Um, so seven years ago, uh, the United States banned about 11 ingredients. And that was still the case when I came on three years ago. Uh, in the EU, they banned 1,400 plus ingredients. In Canada, about 600 ingredients. In the United States, to date, we're at 30. Um, well, there has been no federal regulation passed in 82 years. And this bill that we are working on, the Toxic Free Cosmetic Bill, has had like five iterations, right? But last Friday, man, last Friday, the first time in 82 years, it passed. It passed. Yeah. So now the toxic free cosmetic bill is open for business, which just means in, in bill language, like you start with something and then you grow that bill. There are about 80,000 80, ingredients in the consumer market today and less than 20% have been tested for human health or toxicity. I mean, like really just take that on, like take that on. It's a lot. Um, the increase of cancer diagnoses and other neurological disorders. Yeah, actually, yeah. you just reminded me of a little thing I'll share with you about the bill. So of those 12 ingredients, that's so specific. <laughs> yeah, I got to say that to this group specifically. Of the 12 ingredients, 10 of them are associated with breast cancer. 10. Um, so the Never List, and we'll put this on the follow-up resources, Never List. We have a little mini one like that um, on the Avery's Beauty Counter, so you guys can look at it later, is the 1,800 ingredients that we will never use. Um, you can also use the EWG app. Candace is going to talk about this a little bit later on like how to find that, but that can scan your products and tell you how toxic they are from one to eight. Dude, you can scan a baby product and it scan an eight. I am not making this up. I think it's uh, 10. Though. Say again? I think it's 10, up to 10. Up to 10. Yeah, so the eight, but, nine, but they're usually The highest you usually see are red eight. Oh, yes. Yeah, but ten. the odd time you'll see a red 10. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that was the first why, time. Why not, why not just like, I know. This is people. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we're here today, so that you guys can go share that again with somebody else. But we've had about a thousand plus meetings and Capitol Hill. Um, there, we've made a documentary. I mean, we're, this is our, this is what we are leading with education and advocacy. And that bill passed 54 to 0, bipartisan way to go. Um, if you'd like to be part of this work, uh, you can do one of two things. Well, a few things that Candice will mention later too, but 
a couple easy things is you could become a Band of Beauty member. That's $29 for the year. It puts you on our list of people that are very committed to the clean beauty movement. And then we give you a bunch of perks because we happen to be a beauty company. We could do that too. So uh, we give you free shipping, 10% product credit back, and um, a really nice large bottle of body lotion. It's kind of fabulous. Uh, even simpler though, uh, you can text Better Beauty to 52886, Better Beauty to 52886. And that's our running uh, tally of the people that know about this movement. Do, do people know about it? Um, right now, I'm gonna show you another little 90 second thing about ingredients, and then we're gonna see this in reality. In reality, let's look at some examples of products and what does this advocacy look like on the shelf? If you're like most people, you assume that the products you use every day on your face, in your hair, on your skin, are safe. They've been proven safe by the FDA or people in white lab coats or someone. Well, the truth is, the beauty industry is barely regulated. And by that, we mean it's regulated by one set of laws, which includes one and a half pages on the $62 billion beauty industry. And that law was passed in 1938. While we're on history, since World War II, over 85,000 chemicals have been introduced to the market. These chemicals show up in products we use every day, and fewer than 10% have been tested for their effects on human health. We think this is madness, and we're doing something about it. First, we make safer products. We're proud to be the leader in cleaner beauty, but that was never our mountaintop. Our goal? to launch a movement. We think everyone deserves safer beauty. So we're fighting to get the laws changed. The thing is, movements aren't solo acts. We need every single voice. Call your representatives in Washington, share this video, or just, you know, bring up the harsh realities of weak beauty industry regulation the next time you're having a glass of rosé with friends. That actually is action. That is using your voice. This isn't complicated, it's common sense. Beauty should be good for you. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of products and then, and then Candace is gonna show you a couple of products too of what are some of the worst offenders and what can you do either when you're out shopping or like what's Beauty Counter's solution, right? Right now I'm gonna give you a little couple of minute tutorial on sunscreen. What's the deal with sunscreen? There's so many questions and misconceptions and myths about sunscreen. So sunscreen. Uh, let's say you have an SPF 30, right? You can think of that like SPF 30 blocks the sun 30 times more than if you weren't wearing it at all, or it allows 3% of the sun's rays through. Adversely, SPF 50 blocks 50 times the sun's rays, 50 times outside, right? And allows 2% of the sun's rays in. Okay, what's the deal with all of those V's, right? UVA is the anti-aging or the aging rays, sorry, the aging rays. UVB is the cancer rays. And HEV is the blue light. And actually, blue light does come from the sun as well, but it also blocks against the blue light on your screens and devices that, gosh, all of us are looking at all day long, right? So all these sunscreens and anything else that has those three letterings on it will block all those rays for you. Um, okay, what should you be looking for? Mineral-based sunscreen, ours is non-nano zinc oxide. What is that? Um, mineral, so it's, it's nature-based, so it's safe for you, but the non-nano is important. Um, non-nano means that the sunscreen sits on the surface of your skin. Here's a statistic for you. 75% of the sunscreens that you see on the shelf every day would not be sold in the EU. Again, just sit with that one. You go to CVS, you look at the shelf. 75% of that, they wouldn't sell over there because they would deem it toxic for public health and the environment. Um, so non-nano zinc oxide, mineral-based sunscreens, totally safe. Um, I'm gonna show you this one now. Uh, okay, so it goes on. Oh, and it's a spray, I like spray. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that too, because this is also about the environment, but it's a misproof. So that's why it comes out white, but then when you rub it in, I think that's why we sell a lot of sunscreen is because it just rubs, rubs in like a regular lotion. You don't feel sunscreened, you just feel hydrated. 
and then it blocks the sentry. It's kind of great. Um, also, uh, environment-wise, aerosol, not good. <laughs> but everybody kept asking us for that, right? So a lot of times in, in this clean beauty movement, what's going to have to happen is innovation. We're going to have to just invent stuff because it's just not out there. We haven't been operating like that for people and planet before profit but we are now. So inside of here is a little plastic bag. They invented this. There's a little plastic bag inside of there. And then when I push down on the nozzle, it squeezes that bag and pushes it out like a really, really fine mist. Uh, I'm really proud of that little bit there because in the beginning, it, a lot of investors and stuff were just like, oh, well, you can't have really good product that's good for the planet and it's affordable and uh, the companies still make money. Yeah. Well, we have absolutely proven that wrong. <laughs> Our prices are kind of on par with Sephora and we're la launching a partnership with them on July 7th. So if you're anywhere in the country and you've got a Sephora, you can check us out. Uh, okay, uh, in the US, more people are diagnosed with skin cancer than all the other cancers combined. That's great. I'm going to tell you about two ones that I just really like. One is Dew Skin. Dew Skin, like a tinted moisturizer, SPF 20, has a little tint to it. Um, so I can wear this every day. If you want to try to wear that every day, if you can, right? We also have one that just came out. <laughs> it's unfortunately it's sold out, but it should be back in next week. Um, but that's one that you can wear like under makeup. It's really, really light. Um, and this one, I like to keep just in the side pocket of my car. A lot of times the sun damage that you're getting is from when you're driving, right? So you have your hands on that handlebar and then you get sunspots here, 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 um, on your chest because the visor hits you right there. So I just chuck that in a little side pocket. Also, the other thing is look for sunscreens that don't have, and I got to read it because they're really long words, uh, oxybenzone and octanot. Eight, O C T I N O X A T E. Those are the two ingredients that break down the coral reefs. I mean, the chances of our my grandchildren seeing coral, coral reefs are pretty slim, actually. Like that's at that point, but nature has a way of taking care of itself. So if we can reverse that, it, it, we might be able to reverse the effects of that. So those are the two ingredients for the coral reefs that you want to have your sunscreen not have in it. Um, the other product that is a big, I'm a big advocate for is mascara, okay? Like if you know nothing about mascara, just when you're opening up the bottle and you go like this, you get a huge chemical wash. You know, do you, it, it's just, it just like this, that odor just hit you in the face, right? Like I smell nothing <laughs> uh, because this is a natural emollient in it and iron oxide versus um, carbon black. Oh, Chrissy, tell that, just tell that funny little story about, about carbon black. Oh yeah, well, Bailey is here. Bailey, your mom, my, you know, your mom, my family um, in high school, she went to one of the steel, steel companies from the, our hometown was a steel town. There was two major steel companies there in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, on the bay. And some schools went there for tours and they would tour them through, show them the manufacturing of steel. And um, at the end of it all, the byproduct left over from producing that steel then was in a big vat, this black sludge, sludge, whatever you called it. And um, they said, well, this now, this, they found a use for it. It goes to makeup companies for mascara and, and eyeliner. <laughs> She told me the story and I'm like, oh, that's the coal tar. That pile of sludge you saw is coal tar. And then they get in there and they take that black and that's what's called carbon black. And that's in your thing. Uh -oh. I mean, known carcinogen people, known carcinogen, PEGs. That's the little code word that you wanna avoid for, at all costs. Um, so instead of using PEGs, right? We use plant derived conditioners, uh, yes, that's the only thing I have to say about that. Yes, plant derived conditioners and uh, iron oxide, which is a natural found mineral. Um, mm -hmm. Super, super easy to come off. That's the other thing. If, you, if you're like, the mascara on my eyes is like glue, this is not a good sign. <laughs> it shouldn't be impossible to get off unless it's like this thick waterproof stuff or something and still got to look and see what's in that bottle, right? 
Um, we are going to take any questions. Bailey, do you have any questions? Or Rob, do you see any questions over on the Facebook Live? Not yet. Awesome. Good, Bailey. Okay, just making sure we've we've yeah. had a lot of Right now, we are going to transition to Candice, who's going to give us a, a little education about Sin Skin Care and like what's the difference between this clean beauty stuff and the other stuff out there. And Candice, tell us, introduce yourself too. Who are you, Candice? Thanks, Avery. Hi, everyone. Um, I just feel so honored to be here today to um, be a part of this amazing event to help spread awareness about clean beauty and also to help raise money for a really important cause. So thank you so much, Chrissy and Avery, for inviting me. I feel really honored to be here. Um, so I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about Beauty Counter's skincare regimens. Uh, we have some awesome ones. And a regimen basically consists of four steps. So you're going to have your, your first step is your cleanse step. So that'll be your cleanser. Then you have your prep step. That'll be like your toner or your essence. Then you have your uh, treat step. That's, that's going to be like your serum. And then the last step is your protect step. So that's going to be your moisturizer. And of course, during the day, your sunscreen. And Avery has shared earlier how important sunscreen is. And obviously, Beauty Counter has some amazing sunscreen options for you. So um, this first regimen is uh, called the Counter Control. I'm just showing you a sample packet here. This actually has a different look now. Yeah, there, Avery's got the current look, but I wanted you to see uh, something. So this is the Counter Control regimen. This is gonna be for oily, acne-prone skin, okay? What does this do? Uh, it mattifies the skin, it clears acne, it purifies your pores and it balances your skin. Why is this safer than like other acne prevention products out there? Well, some pretty important things. <laughs> um, this is actually formulated without any harsh ingredients such as benzoyl peroxide amongst other things. Um, it's gonna keep your skin balanced but without stripping the skin of its natural moisture. Um, I just have to give a personal testimony to this because I have been recently using it. Um, I'm pregnant right now with our second child and I was experiencing some hormonal breakouts due to the pregnancy and I started using this and within like a week, my skin was cleared up and I have used a lot of acne products out there in the past and they've always felt very harsh on my skin. Um, if they sting, not a good sign. This was not like that at all. It was, a, it's, it's amazing. It's wow. so gentle on your skin, but it's super effective. So you have the best of both worlds there. So I love this stuff. Counter control. Um, next up is the counter match, which also has a new look. I don't know if you've got the current look there, but the, uh, the counter match regimen um, is gonna be for, there you go. Avery's got it there. So it's gonna be for normal and combination skin. Um, this actually has an amazing technology. It's called Biomimic Technology. And so essentially what that means is it's formulated to match the natural structure of your skin. So it basically gives your skin what it needs on whatever specific day it needs it. So it's really an amazing technology. It's gonna hydrate, it provides nutrients, it oxygenates the skin, and it boosts your skin's glow. Um, why is it safer? Um, it's formulated without any formaldehyde. Um, it has no synthetic uh, polymer. Well, I don't want to have formaldehyde for many years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who wants that stuff? Yeah. We don't want any of that in our products, right? It has no mineral oil or added fragrances. And I don't know, Avery, did you mention this before about the fragrances? Oh, you're on mute. Yeah, say that little thing. I didn't mention it. Yeah, before. Okay, so, um, you know, when you see on, you, you go to the store and you see, a product, right? You see the word fragrance. Well, that could mean a hundred plus potentially harmful things. And all they have to do, because it's not regulated, is well, it's considered a trade secret. Yeah. So they, they can say fragrance and it's got all this toxic stuff in it. And you're just thinking, oh, fragrance, you know, that's anyways. So be aware of that. Um, we don't have any added fragrances. Right. Um, that are going to be harmful to you. So right. very important to know. Um, so that's the counter match. Then we have the counter time. This is going to be for our mature aging skin. Um, as the skin gets older, it gets drier. 
Um, so those of you with drier skin, um, this is going to be what you want to use. So um, what does it and do? If I could add something, Candace, to that, yeah. this would be ideal for anybody going through chemotherapy and mm -hmm. who has gone through chemotherapy. Um, this this um, routine here. Because um, it's not, your skin gets very Completely, dry. everything changed for me. Yes. And, um, so to keep hydrated is just so important Absolutely. during and after and radiation as well. And my radiation oncologist couldn't stress it enough. He said, keep up. I said, how long should I keep up this routine? He said, oh, at least a year, two years. Oh, yeah, the effects are long, long lasting. So that's wow. a good one. So this is a good, this is a good regimen to know about. Yeah, this is going to provide long lasting hydration for, for your skin. Um, it's going to also, bonus, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Who doesn't love that? Yeah. Um, so I just want to mention that, uh, you know, a lot of us have heard about retinol. Um, a lot of beauty companies out there tout retinol as a safer um, anti-aging uh, anti ingredient. Um, but we're not like other beauty companies out there. Here at Beauty Counter, we actually don't use any retinol in any of our anti-aging products. Um, it's actually on our never list, which uh, Avery mentioned earlier, because research has shown that um, there are quite a few harmful side effects to retinol. Um, causes skin irritation when exposed to the sun, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, also, the EWG uh, website, the Healthy Living website, which you can also download an app on your phone and go and scan products in the store, you'll be amazed <laughs> at what you find on the shelves and how toxic some things are, even things that say they're natural or organic. Um, they actually rate retinol as a nine in the red zone, so very bad. Wow. So we don't use any uh, retinol in any of our anti-aging products. So Beauty Counter, uh, because they still want you to get the benefits of a retinol without the harmful side effects, they have actually created what we call a retin natural complex. So this consists of two ingredients. It's Bocuccio and Swiss Alpine Rose. So it's going to give you the benefits of a retinol, like I said, but without the harmful. It sounds like a nice salad. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Who doesn't love a nice salad? <laughs> and then, of course, we can't forget the men in our lives. They deserve to have healthy, nice skin, too. And, of course, with Father's Day coming up, we've got some wonderful products for the men in our lives. Um, the Counterman uh, Regimen, you know, it's going to, it's formulated basically to, address the specific needs of a man's skin because it's different to women's skin. You know, they've got facial hair, they deal with shaving and irritation from that. So this is gonna be for the men in our lives, Counterman. And then we have um, also, a, it's, it's a pretty new line. It's called Counter Start. Avery has it right there. And this is gonna be for people with sensitive skin, um, people with allergies, uh, also people who want like a low maintenance because it's just a two-step. It just has the cleanser and the moisturizer. So if you want a low maintenance regimen, counter starts great. If you have sensitive skin, it is made with coconut oil and aloe vera, very soothing to the skin. Um, so yeah, those are our, uh, our amazing skincare regimens. And I also wanna just briefly highlight some of our best sellers. Um, the first up is this All Bright C Serum. This actually launched last month. And it was Beauty Counter's biggest launch in the history of Beauty Counter. It was so popular, it sold out within a week. Um, although good news is that it's back in stock, so you can get this now. Um, people are calling it sunshine in a bottle, which I love. <laughs> um, it's going to help just give you that glow to your skin. It's going to even your skin tone. It's going to give you that, that brightness to your skin. It also helps reduce uh, dark spots, if you have any dark spots. Um, or patchiness on your on your skin that's going to really help with that. Um, it defends the skin against environmental stressors um, and just reveals a more youthful, glowing, brighter complexion. Um, so it's amazing. This stuff is actually made with two ultra stable forms of vitamin C. It also has turmeric in it and camu camu. Um, so why is this safer for you than other vitamin C? Terms that you can 
get out there on the market? Um, well, something really huge. <laughs> we mentioned PEGs earlier, which are directly linked to cancer. This has no PEGs in it, like other vitamin C serums that you could find out there might have. So no PEGs in here. Um, it has no dyes in it as well. So it's, it's, it's safe and yet super effective for what you're going to want from a, a vitamin C serum. Um, and then the next thing is this overnight resurfacing peel. These actually pair really well together. Um, you could use your vitamin C serum in the morning and then your overnight resurfacing peel in the evening. I would recommend you could use this every day, the vitamin C serum, but the overnight resurfacing peel probably two to three times a week. And you're going to use that at night, like I said. Um, this is going to be for all skin types, um, but specifically those who have maybe that dull skin or uneven skin tone that they want to address. Um, it's made with a multi-acid complex, which helps with cell turnover, which helps make the skin smoother. Um, it boosts the overall clarity um, and radiance of your skin. Um, it's gentle on the skin, non-irritating, unlike a lot of other peels out there, yet it's, it's extremely effective. Um, it leaves your skin just super soft. I love the way my skin feels after I use this stuff. Um, and just smoother and, and brighter. And why is this safer than other peels out there? Well, a few things. Again, that the PEGs, no PEGs in this bad boy. <laughs> uh, no synthetic fragrances. Um, it has no formaldehyde-based uh, preservatives that may be found in other peels. Um, also, many other peels out there have um, they often use high levels of one or two resurfacing acids that may cause skin irritation. Um, but our peel uses a combination of resurfacing acids and soothing acids. So um, it's helping with that cell turnover, but without that you know, skin irritation that could, you know, could be caused by other peels. So these two pair brilliantly together. Um, these are gonna be like your treat step, you know, step number three that I said in your four step regimen. This will be uh, your treat step. And speaking of treatment level products, Avery is going to share with us now about a treatment level foundation that yes. we just launched, which is amazing. This is just really a fun one. So this is the uh, Skin Twin right here. And again, it's, it, this, this kind of a movement, it, it's just gonna, it's gonna take technology. It's gonna take innovation. You could hear it, right, when she was talking. The, the Retin Natural, we invented that. <laughs> the really, really high stable vitamin C, we figured that out. That's really a, a, a lot of lines. That's a stumbling, plot, pro, uh, a stumbling block because the higher the level of vitamin C, the product can, can break down. Um, and we did it again with this one. So uh, our previous foundation, uh, Tint Skin, had a little bit of hyaluronic acid in it. Now, hyaluronic acid is actually a naturally occurring ingredient in your own body. So we just put a lot more of it in this. <laughs> You're just going to get a lot more of it. So yeah. now the new one has nine times the amount of hyaluronic acid that the last one did. So this is a treatment level foundation. Um, you can still use the serum that we've been talking about, but just know you're I'm gonna put this on and, and within 20 minutes or so, you may be like, oh, my skin is a little bit plumper and a little bit more refined. Um, there's a super fun uh, shade finder tool in our app that we can show you. And this is light to medium coverage. I, I, just a little education on brushes. Um, Bailey, you might have two cents on this. <laughs> um, uh, the retractable brush, anything like this. I mean, Beauty Counter sells this is 35 bucks, but you could get a good one at Sephora too. Just make sure you check out what these bristles are because if they're synthetic, they can irritate your skin too, okay? So this is gonna be a light coverage, a flat brush is gonna be more like medium coverage. And then if I want really full coverage, I'll just use my fingers to tell you the truth. Um, so that's the Skin Twin. Uh, resurfacing all those hyaluronic acid treatment level foundation. Um, and then the other one I wanted to talk about is uh, Beauty Counter is about the health and safety of everybody. So when it comes to health and safety, we mean everybody's. And, it, and we realized it has to kind of, if we're going to stand for that, it's got to go a little bit beyond, if not a lot beyond just the products, right? So, um, 
Micah. Micah is a safe ingredient. Like if you look out the window of wherever you are now and you see a car that's kind of sparkly, that's Micah. You look at your kid's car that he's playing with on the ground, that's Micah. You look inside this lip gloss, right? All those little sparkly things in there, that's Micah, totally safe. Why am I telling you this? <laughs> because what we have found, I mean, I mean, here we've been at it, you know, this is our seventh year and we're just figuring this out, right? Because the supply chain for mica is so hard to track down. I mean, it's people that don't have addresses. Once you start getting really into different countries and it's like shoots off like this and shoots off like this. And like, there's this person and it is, it's insane and, and different countries and cross and it's not so. So we have vowed to know the end of our supply chain and every piece of it by the end of this year. Because unfortunately at the end of that, our small children picking away in dark caves at mica and we don't want to be a part of that at all so we're going to sleuth that out so we know that our supply chain is not run by children um but just know that in the top of your head that like you know we want to try not to support stuff like that so it's it's figuring that out and that is really just a web so that's part of our advocacy too it's not just the safety of your skin but it's the safety of the people that are getting this product for us right um and another thing about lip product <laughs> you consume seven pounds of lip product in your lifetime so know what's in it okay um and just a little fun favorite i love the fact that this has a little angled brush and Oh, yeah. That's, that's, um, and a lot of um, lip glosses are just really sticky, and then your hair gets in there, and you're like, ah! Uh, but that's the end of our product part. But right now, we want to talk about a little bit about um, you know, how more you can get involved and uh, look at some prizes. So I'm going to show you one last video. What makes me feel beautiful? Connecting with people. I think if you start there, it allows for just the kindness, which is something that I learned through my breast cancer journey and is also something that I learn every single day that I do my beauty counter business. I've been in sales for a long time and this is different. It's being of service, it's bringing value, which for me has been a lot to do with healing. I want to educate people, I want to tell them my story. My personal motto, I am enough. She's just fabulous. And Candace is gonna share a little bit about her story with us and how we can get involved more. Yeah, um, yeah. I just wanna take this opportunity to share with you all a little bit more about why I personally got involved with Beauty Counter. Um, so when I was in high school, my mom overcame a very difficult battle with advanced breast cancer. And um, we have a strong family history of breast cancer in our family. Uh, a few years ago, my mom had the genetic testing done and surprisingly, she tested negative for all of the current identified genes out there, um, even despite the strong family history, which we frankly were all shocked about. Um, it definitely makes me wonder more and more like what kind of toxins are in our environment? Um, what kind of things are we unknowingly putting on our body, on our skin? Um, that could be potentially harmful to us and our health. Um, and then a couple years ago, I also became pregnant with our first child. And for both of these reasons, I, I just started thinking more and more about the products I use daily and how they could potentially be affecting my health and also the health of my baby. Um, and then around that same time, I actually became aware of Beauty Counter for the first time. And I was just really intrigued uh, by their vision and their philosophy behind clean beauty. Um, so I started doing some research and I slowly started weeding out products I was using for cleaner products. And then fast forward to now, I'm pregnant with our second child. And just recently I was at a virtual beauty counter event similar to this one. And something inside me just clicked. I just realized very clearly this was a company with a vision and a mission that I could easily get behind. And I'm just really excited about the opportunity to be able to help spread that awareness 
um, about clean beauty and to help get clean products into the hands of everyone because at the end of the day, our health matters. It really does. And we shouldn't have to worry about the products we're using and whether or not they're good for us. And that's something that I just love about Beauty Counter is that they do the research for you. They are making sure that the stuff that you're putting on your skin is not going to harm you. Um, because not only do they prohibit the use of over 1800 toxic chemicals or questionable ingredients, um, but the other component is that they are advocating at the highest level for real change in the beauty industry. And that's something just that just really excites me. They're a company that really cares and really wants change. So um, that's a bit of my story and why I joined Beauty Counter and um, got involved. Um, so speaking of ways to get involved, um, there's a few different ways that you can do that um, to get behind the clean beauty movement. And one of those ways is to start shopping for clean products. There's other clean beauty companies out there. We are the leading beauty, uh, clean beauty uh, company. And so obviously we're big fans of Beauty Counter and, uh, but we, we support all clean beauty. And um, so yeah, start, start just being more aware of the things that you're using on your skin every day. Um, another way is to become a Beauty Counter uh, client and customer and start shopping uh, for Beauty Counter products. Uh, Avery also mentioned too earlier that you can become a Band of Beauty member. And there's some amazing perks with that. 29 bucks a year, it's like our version of Amazon Prime. Uh, $29 a year, you get free shipping, 10% uh, product credit on all future purchases. So if you're planning on buying Beauty Counter anyway, it's a great deal, there's some awesome perks. And then you get that, that free gift with your enrollment as well. Um, and then last but not least, you can become a consultant like I just recently did. And right now Beauty Counter is offering something they've never offered before, and that's a $50 digital enrollment kit. So you can literally start a business from the safety and comfort of your own home. You'll be given all the digital tools, marketing tips uh, and tools. You'll be given product training, um, as well as your own personalized website that you can share with your friends and family and they can start shopping Beauty Counter products directly through you. Um, and also, if you are a woman of color, uh, Avery actually has an amazing opportunity which she's gonna uh, tell you about right now. Hi guys, so in the vein of we want all people to be safe and healthy all the time, um, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> and specifically, in the consumer market, women of color carry the highest toxic load. So, you know, just add one more thing to the list. But literally, women of color are being targeted with the most toxic, worst for their health products, usually, mostly in the, the hair and nail category. So we need more representation. I mean, I tried to share it on my page and realized I was just talking to all white chicks, right? Like we need women of color to be talking to women of color. So I would like to sponsor three women of color to start their own business, which means I'll stay, I'll pay for all your startup fees and make sure you have tons of samples. Um, because, uh, and I'm, just, I'm excited about it because that is a community that if you have representation spreading this education, it will change. It will change that industry. I'm, I'm confident of it. But right now, very underrepresented in the largest group that's getting the worst of it. Um, so please reach out to me on Avery's Beauty Counter or you can share a Avery Clyde YouTube page. You'll see the Johnson's um, uh, Black Lives Matter YouTube video and you can watch it and I'll explain it a little more in detail there too. Uh, but right now we are going to turn it over to uh, Chrissy. We're gonna have some prizes. What were those prizes? Well, you have prizes are charcoal bar and mini oil. Okay, so this is one of the prizes. We're gonna pull names and we'll like videotape it and like put it on the page and, and uh, email you guys too. From all the people that put orders into and contribute to the fundraiser, we have three prizes and this is uh, one of them. Charcoal bar, which is the same bar that we sent to the front of line workers. All last month, if you put in an order, we sent one of these to a front of, front of line oh, worker. Yeah. Cleaning themselves was such a big deal. Yeah. Um, so you don't want that to be an issue. And then uh, we'll put in a little media face oil, which is freaking fabulous. The number one is brightening. The number two is hydrating. The number three is- Oh, I love those. Oh yeah, it's so awesome, right? Couple drops yeah. of that foundation or your sunscreen, you're like, oh, great skin. <laughs> 
What else do you have there, Chrissy? We have a charcoal mask. Oh, the charcoal mask. We have the charcoal mask. <laughs> it uh, retails at $49 uh, and is one of our prizes. So you will get this in the mail with a bunch of other little treats. And then uh, we have one final prize in an effort to really spread this education. The virtual spa party, which I think sounds really fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you go to, we actually recorded one. Um, and it's, wear your pajamas, your naked <laughs> We make cocktails, we play music, it's just very fun. It's usually, you know, a group of girlfriends. We send out samples in advance so people can like try the stuff while we're on the call. And it's just a fun, very casual atmosphere to commune with your friends during a pandemic, um, get a little clean beauty, self-care love, and spread the mission of, of clean beauty. So that's the third prize. So uh, Chrissy's uh, fundraiser closes on the 23rd. Uh, and so that's when we'll, we'll pull the names end of day and announce that on the 24th. Awesome stuff. Yes. Yay. Um, okay, the end of our little thing here, uh, follow-up. I know we gave you guys a lot of information and um, whether you're watching this live or you're watching the recording, I just thank you so much for getting to the end and helping us share the mission of clean beauty. Um, Shipping, if you were to put in an order, just know it's two to seven days. Um, right now, there's friends and family, which is 15% off. And you can always reach out to us, Candace or I, um, Avery's Beauty Counter, or search for us on uh, the Beauty Counter website. We can answer any questions. There's no commitment to buy anything. We are here to spread the mission of clean beauty um, and educate the public. That's our mandate, really. Um, yeah. Uh, hey, Chrissy, do you want to wrap us up here? I would love to. I would like to say that, um, you know, I've always been into health and fitness and a fitness professional and weight loss coach. And But honestly, it took me to be diagnosed with cancer to really change my life and take a look at everything I was putting in my body and putting on my body. And my goal is to show people that now so that they never have to get that call that I got. Find out now what could be triggering it. There was no breast cancer in my family. How did I get it? I don't know, but I don't want it back. Skincare and makeup is huge for me. I've been a professional makeup artist for 40 years, maybe more, <laughs> working in TV. Makeup, makeup, makeup. Well, bit by bit, I had replaced it all, got rid of everything. And uh, it's really important to me that I can try to stop somebody from getting that call that I got. And I think what we put on our body and into it makes a big difference. That's what my cancer-free life is about. I, I would love to just do a, a breath um, together, a breath of gratitude that we're all here, we're all able to spend this time together, learn about something that can make us feel better, look beautiful, and um, not harm our bodies or our planet. And I like to finish my Pilates classes like this, just so we can remember how lucky we are. Breathe in positive energy, positive energy up, arms up. Push away negative people, negative words, negative situations, and all things negative. Breathe in positive energy up. Breathe out negative people, negative words, negative situations, and all things negative. And now visualize a whole room of beautiful white clouds, and you're grabbing all of the clouds. You're pulling them into your heart, and it's happiness and good health and prosperity and peace. And you're holding it into your heart, and every time you think of these clouds, you remember you're loved. Thank you so much, Avery, for allowing me this opportunity to do something for the Johnson Cancer Center Foundation. So please, let's make a difference. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Bailey and Candace. Of course. Hey, happy Rosanna. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.